Hello everyone. In this video you are going to see how I put down the second, the third and the fourth layer of the geode I am working on. And um, first of all I need to tell you that I put some uh, sticky pearls in the white center where, where the cells are. Because I like that uh, area. And uh, at the end of this video you are going to see a close up of it. Uh, first of all, uh, some clear on the painting, and now I'm putting down the uh, real crystals, the fluorite. I don't know how you call it in English, but we call it fluorite. And with a stick I'm putting them on the place where I want them. And uh, this is going to be a very colorful uh, geode. Now I'm putting some green glitter over the fluorite to uh, give it more sparkle. Some more clear. All the uh, materials I'm using are listed in this uh, video for all the layers. Now I'm putting down some crushed glass. It's light blue. And again I'm uh, putting them on the place I want them with a steering stick. So you can see I speeded up this video a little bit because uh, otherwise it's going to be a very long video. And the glitter I already mixed in the resin. So now I'm putting down uh, the blue glitter over the light blue crust glass to define that area and now I'm starting with a line of gold leaf already mixed in the resin I put a lot in it then it is a little bit thicker and with a steering stick I place uh, the gold leaf where I want it. And if you put more uh, gold leaf in it, it gets a little bit thicker so that it doesn't flow to the sides. And I uh, also did that with the glitter, a lot of glitter in the resin. Now I'm putting down a red purple line. I just told you it's going to be very colorful, I like that. So around the uh, red area I'm putting down the red purple glitter. And also a lot of glitter in the resin, so that it stays, uh, the line is uh, staying small. Now some gold glitter, also for the sparkle. Very nice uh, glitter is this, it's uh, larger than the, the blue and the green one. So on the sides of the painting it's going to be gold. Another gold line. And now I'm putting some extra glitter over the green to give it more sparkle. and also the blue and now you can see also that the blue is flowing a little bit but that I don't mind because I like that it gives it a more natural look and now I'm placing some extra crushed glass in the gaps
And so you can see the lines that are pla uh, placed on the board, on the painting. Uh, the gold and the purple are staying very small. Now I'm adding extra glitter. And also in the green some extra glitter. Needs to be a sparkly, colorful geode. A little bit more gold. And also uh, the red purple. On the top uh, wasn't okay, so I put more uh, red purple glitter so uh, that I can define that area better. Little bit of purple on the sides. So this was the first layer. And now I'm going to start with the third layer. So you can see I already placed some lines. Um, I used a Posca pens, that is an acrylic marker. And um, the gap I'm filling in now with clear. I want that uh, blue, so that the blue area is more defined. So first some clear. And on top of the clear, I'm putting down the blue glitter. Also, the materials I use for the third layer are listed in this video. With these areas also uh, blue, uh, it, the shape is a little bit better. And also in the red area, I place some sticky white shiny pearls. I also tape the sides of the board so that the design stays on the board and not flows over the sides. Now I'm putting down a, a red purple color because uh, I don't like the uh, color of the first layer so and I think this color matched more with the red purple glitter line so with the steering stick I'm going to fill in the gap with red purple Now I'm using some darker purple, that's the Purple Rain of the Lures. It's a beautiful color. And I'm placing it against the uh, red-purple glitter line. So that it can flow in the red-purple color. Now I'm I uh, get my uh, stick and I go through the dark purple 
to get it in a red purple so that it gets more flowy. Also on the other side, this color. And also some purple rain, the darker purple. And again, uh, with my steering stick, I go through it to get it in a red-purple color, so that it flows in it. Now I put down some clear, because that area I like, of the first layer, so only uh, clear. And there also in this uh, area I place the sticky pearls, the white shiny sticky pearls, so I want to see them, so only uh, clear in this area. So this is my first diode, and uh, what I learned is that uh, maybe the next diode, uh, not so many colors, because it looks a little bit busy. But yeah, it's also pretty, because all the colors I like. And also the sides only clear, because I also like that areas. And on the other side also only clear, because there I have the gold and I like the gold to stay. Again some uh, darker purple on the other side of the glitter line because I want to have some uh, get in the clear to get it, let it flow in the clear so that you get the depth.
And now I'm adding uh, also from Lures the Sapphire Blue. And I'm placing it over the crushed glass to give it more uh, contrast. And now I'm using the torch to get rid of the air bubbles. And again I'm going through uh, the darker purple with my steering stick to get it in the clear. So that it can flow. And this is the end result, so you can see I place the more lines, white lines, with an acrylic marker on the painting to define some areas. And you can see there the uh, sticky white pearls. Some black lines I've added. Again, the sticky white pearls there. So I want to thank you for uh, watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.